In the middle of the top area of the 11 free plugin are the menus for choosing the particular amp model and a particular speaker cabinet. 11 itself has 16 amps, based on famous real amps from Fender, Box, Marshall, and Mesa Boogie. 11 free has only two, just the basics. There's Vintage Crunch, a custom model, probably based on an old 50s-style Fender tweed amp, which ranges from clean to crunch to old-school bluesy distortion. And there's Modern Overdrive, which seems to be based on a certain popular high-gain dual rectifier amp for more intense distortion. The controls try to mimic the behavior of the controls on the real amp being modeled. In this case, I guess they approximate the ranges typical for that kind of amp. Let's go back to Vintage Crunch. Gain controls the level feeding the preamp stage, the virtual preamp tube. On this Vintage Crunch model, it goes from clean to edge to vintage small amp distortion. master knob controls a level feeding the virtual power amp tubes. On models of amps that didn't have a master knob, like most vintage amps, you might want to either leave it at the default, 12 o'clock, or leave it all the way up for the level that you'd have in a real amp without such a control. Bass, middle, and treble, of course, make up the tone stack. As with real amps, these are broad tone controls. The ranges may change with the different amp models. Treble, in particular, on a guitar amp with no tweeter, is really more upper mid-range. Presence is really what we usually think of as high treble. Again, in a real amp, presence is part of the output circuit, coming much later in the signal chain than the other EQ knobs, and it's less likely to affect the quality of distortion. It'll just add a little crispness overall. The bright switch can also add a little treble boost. Actually, it can add kind of a lot sometimes. It's great if the amp's not cutting through a mix, but it could be too much in some situations. It depends on the particular guitar and pickup. Finally, you have the classic tremolo effect, amplitude modulation, for the traditional pulsating sound. Our other amp, Modern Overdrive, has an extra wrinkle. As you can see, it's got the same set of controls, but the real amp they based this one on does have a master volume knob. That means you've got two controls that let you push the amp into distortion. The gain knob, which overloads the virtual preamp tube, and the master, which lets you overload the virtual power tubes. So if you keep the preamp distortion low and push the power amp distortion, you'll get this kind of overload characteristic. Do the opposite, keep power amp overload low and push the preamp drive, and you'll get this quality instead. Just like with the real thing, preamp overdrive is a buzzier, fizzier kind of distortion, and power amp overdrive has a crunchier, meatier quality. And of course, you can mix them together, like you'd probably do on the actual amp. You notice besides the usual plug-in bypass button, there's a bypass switch in the amp panel itself. What this does is bypass only the actual amplifier simulation, leaving the simulated speaker and the virtual mic active, in case you want the track completely clean, but still feeding through a virtual mic'd up cabinet, for character. The two speaker cabinets here are both based on different classic Marshall 412 speaker cabinets. Your choice.
And don't forget, although this plugin was designed with guitar in mind, there's no reason you can't run other sources through it. Electric piano, synth, whatever, to get a little of that extra edge. If you find you like this plugin, you'll probably want to get the full version. You get a lot more amps and cabs, and more specific models of real amps. plus some additional controls for the speaker and a choice of mic simulations. You should be able to tell what real mics they're based on from the names. Coming up, Pro Tools' other model of a real analog product, their simulation of Tech 21's rack mount preamp the Sansamp PSA-1. <laughs> 